Molly. Tonight I'm gonna do a 20 by 20. I think I'm gonna do a ring. I think I'm gonna do because I literally have no idea what I'm gonna do. <laughs> no, I'm gonna do in my head, I'm gonna do a ring pour in blues and purples. And on the outside, I'm layering all of my 24 karat gold and the extreme sheen. I have purple and blue. Um, and then I'm gonna add the satin enamel. So my hope is that maybe I'll have kind of pearlized cells of different colors. I'd done a couple of these um, a while back when I was working on my rainbow pores. So I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but you will know as soon as I do. All right, guys. So this is just Floetrol and paint in this mixture. And um, I'm using mineral blue and uh, dioxazine purple and manganese blue. So I'm just going to, the paints are pretty thin in this as well. So I'm just gonna pour this part out into a ring pour. And I have a little bit of white in this as I go. There's my white. And I actually use Creative Inspirations. White has been creating a kind of cloud effect, even though I've been mixing it with my same pouring medium. So I don't know what's going on there, but I didn't want that for the center of this. Um, so I used um, my Windsor & Newton white tonight. Okay, so this is a mixture of these, it's pretty thin as well, so this may kind of run all wonky, I'm not sure. Um, and I can already see, there might be some little things in there. So I'm gonna put a little bit of satin enamel around the outer ring here, and then I'm gonna ring it with all the other colors. So I've got my uh, Extreme Sheen Pink, and I'll list the actual colors. I've got, oh, I was gonna put some 24 karat gold in the cup and I forgot. So there's my 24 karat gold. There's my Extreme Sheen Blue. My hope is that all these colors are gonna kind of run over each other as they hit the edges. And then the rest will be, hopefully that will be enough. I have a little bit more pink here, so maybe I'll go in between those. And so my hope is that I'll get maybe some of those little pearlized cells on the outside as I stretch this out. But I don't know. Sometimes it's fun to just play around, you know? Not so serious, right? That's what I say. Okay, so they're running it different, and I did. I made the outer rings thinner than the inner portion so that when it passed over it, those cells would pop up. So we'll see if that actually happens. So I'm not trying to keep a perfect ring here, okay? So I'm letting this run. Letting it run, it's starting to run kind of fast. Let that go over. Got a little bit of something in here, let me get all right, so I've already got some really cool cells that are popping up. Gosh, it's like a little blob of paint. It's not a booger. I, uh, oh, somebody asked me not to say that. <laughs> Instead of makes them sick. So now I'm just stretching the blue over, and then as I bring it back, I'm hoping to get like these multicolored cells. See, they're already starting to form. Wow, they're kind of forming all crazy. Gotta make it down to that corner. Okay. Wow, they're forming everywhere already. These got a little wonky on this side right here, but what I wanted to happen is happening already. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little while 
and I'll be able to tell if the full reaction is going to happen, but I'll bring you in now because it's already happening everywhere around here. Super cool. Oh, I just wish that these cells were circular right here. But, you know, we'll see. Okay, I'll start you down here. Um, like I said, the cells got a little wonky down here and they're already starting to spread out. But again, I didn't really have super big expectations for this one. I'm really happy at the reactions I'm getting because I'm just kind of learning what I can do with this medium to make it something different. So I got what I wanted. I got the kind of gradient of colors popping up in those cells. Oh, that is so cool. Do you guys see that? And then up there in that corner, oh my gosh. Super duper freaking cool. So that is the overall piece right now. I'm so excited. It's what I wanted. Now this in here looks like there were some air bubbles but it kind of actually adds to just that weird effect that I'm getting. Looks almost frosted, doesn't it? So I will see how many more cells pop up and I will show you guys the dried result. Okay, so this is just like, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes later and all those cells are developing exactly the way I wanted with the, okay, so I said I had no expectation. Maybe that was not exactly truthful. I wanted this, I just didn't know if it would happen. But all those cells, if you can see, are like rainbow swirling around that little vortex center. I can't wait, I hope this dries well, you guys. All right, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, here she is finished. Let me see if I can get the, the glow of the gold there. It's really, really cool. That's how all those little pearlized cells, the rainbow multicolored cells, see some of them have ringlets of gold around them. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm so happy. These got a little wonky down here. Next time, maybe just a little bit more paint, a little less stretching. There were a lot of air bubbles here in the center, you can see. But overall, what I had in my mind came out. <laughs> and I'm super excited about that. And I actually really like this little rainbow corner down here. So I'm going to play around with this again, see what other effects I can get. You guys let me know what you think. And as always, I appreciate you. I love it. All right, you guys. Until next time. Happy painting. Bye.